everyone and welcome back to another Witches Boudoir slash Sandra Starts makeup tutorial and makeup review and today is Sunday which means it is a product review vlog um, and as you guys know from my Tuesday vlog I did say that I was expecting my glossy box which arrived this week so I'm very happy about that um, so I'm going to be reviewing that today. Um, firstly, this is what the actual April glossy box looks like. Um, it is very, very colourful. I just love this design. It is so pretty. Um, it is so festive with Easter and spring and it's just like, wow. Um, I have to admit, when I took it out of the outside packaging, like the basic um, protection packaging for this box, um, I have to admit, when I took it out of that, it was like, wow, that's bright, that's colourful, yeah, it's nice. Um, so I will say it does look really promising on the actual outside of the box. Um, it actually feels quite weighty as well. Um, so I will say both Birch Box and Glossy Box this month have been very, very pretty on the actual boxes. Um, Glossy Box, I wasn't impressed with the products, so I'm really hoping that this box is pretty good this month. So yeah, fingers crossed. So firstly, I'm just going to take take the lid off, which is very, very pretty, and it has a really bright, colourful inside. Um, and this is what it looks like. It has the standard pink bow, um, which is a bit brighter than usual, and obviously the leaflet on top. And if you can see, there is a little bit of green tissue paper hiding all the products. So I will literally un unbox it and get my way to the product so I can review it. So obviously we get this really nice little card. Um, this is basically either fruity or floral. I actually have the floral box this, this month. Um, I will say that the fruity box looks equally cute as well. Again, very bright, very festive and pretty. Um, so yeah, it gives you all the actual products, which I will be looking at a little bit later to give you prices and to see which are what sizes. I will say this box actually feels quite weighty, so I'm a little bit, mm, okay. Pack my way into tissue paper. Ooh, there are some nice size products in this. So as you can see, there are some full size products, which yeah, I'm impressed by. Um, again, it's all very floral based and it does look very, very pretty. Um, I will say that most of these do look full size, so yeah. Um, so let's get started. So the first product I'm going to pull out is the Organic Source Water Infusion Raspberry and Rose Water. Um, this is a hydration shower gel, I believe. Yep, it's 100% natural fragrance. It's vegan friendly. Um, it's three times more moisturizing. It has vitamins and antioxidant blend. So yeah, and as you can see, it is clear it looks very healthy very nice um obviously you guys probably know by now i don't actually use the shower very often um, i'm actually more a bath person however i do do strip washes first thing in the morning so i tend to use shower gels first thing in the morning um, because i do strip washes so yeah this is kind of like a godsend for me um i do have a lot of shower gels i will put a picture in the blog below um, on the witch's boudoir purely because I use shower gels so little um, that it becomes like I end up with a collection of them um, so I use them as like body soaps and body washes things like that so yeah that's pretty much how I use a shower gel um, but yeah this looks interesting and promising I will say I used to use organic source quite a bit um, but I kind of fell out of love with them because I ended up with like a bad skin condition and yeah it just I just stopped using them. I will say, considering that is meant to have rose water in, I can smell more raspberries. It's almost got like a grapefruit smell to it. But it's actually really nice, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Um, this, I'm going to say, is a full-size product. Let me just check the actual... Yep, yeah, this is a full-size product and costs £2.50 on, on the store. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed by that. Um, I will say, you know, I'm glad that it's a full size product because normally when you get products like this, they're either like little samples that are a bit that big. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed. And that, for starters, that's a good thing for me. Um, next is the Let Your Dreams Blossom Eau de Parfum. This is a Jeanne and Arthur's 
there's perfume this is a 30 milliliter her perfume and i'm surprised because yeah again this is a full size perfume um normally i don't like getting like big perfumes I like samples however I'm actually quite impressed because this is a very simple looking perfume it's a bit like um, the Hawaiian Tropic bottles um, like this they're actual smaller bottles um, so yeah it's very pretty it's very cute it's very much like the design for the box lid um, so yeah I like that um, I will say I will put this to one side for next month's perfume whom, um, blog because I'm doing a perfume blog for next month uh, this month I'm actually doing a toothpaste blog because I have a collection of toothpaste care products that I need to review so yeah I'm doing that this month and perfumes next month so I'll put this to one side for next month I will say I'm actually I'm actually tempted to actually smell it now yeah it's a bit yeah it's a bit floral for me, it's a little bit too strong. Um, I would say it's probably a nice scent for like summer months, um, probably not winter months because it's a little bit sickly. Um, because it's still a bit like dank at the moment in the weather situation, I'd probably get a hold off and save this for like beach time wear, um, that sort of thing. I will say it is quite strong. Um, it does smell nice, it's probably not a scent I would use regularly though. So yeah, I'm going to put that to one side, I will do a full review on that. Um, it is a full size product as I said, and it costs £20.99, so yeah, again, I'm impressed. Um, next product is, oh, Dr. Pawpaw Hot Pink Balm, multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pawpaw for lips, cheeks and cosmetic finishings with a hint of a, t with a, hint of a tint fragrance free, cruelty free and vegan friendly. So yeah, as you guys know, I do adore Dr. Pawpaw products. Um, again, this is like one of those products that if I get a Dr. Pawpaw, I'm happy. This is actually a full size, which I'm impressed because I've never actually had a full size. No, I tell a lie, I had the full size lip balm um, by Dr. Pawpaw, which I still have. Um, so yeah, again, I, again I'm again, i impressed. Um, this is a yeah this is a tinting lip balm which hydrates and adds a little bit of color so it's very slightly tinted um, but you can use it for your lips or your cheeks um, I will say that the lip balm that I have which is their like basic natural lip balm um, is brilliant for those that suffer with eczema or really dry skin and um, because me and my son both suffer with eczema and we do get it on our face just underneath our lip here um, I will say that that works really, really well for eczema. So anybody who suffers with eczema, do get their natural, the Dr. Pawpaw basic yellow lip balm um, because that works amazingly well if you suffer with eczema. Um, again, I'm tempted to try this now. Oh, I love the fact that it comes sealed. So I'm just gonna break the seal and... Ooh, that is pink. That is very, very pink. I will say that is a lot more pink than what I was expecting. It is, again, very thick. It's very filling um, on the lips. Um, it is very smooth, though. It does apply very nicely. Um, a little goes a long way, as you can see. It is almost like a gloss, though, I will say. Um, but it does work really well. It's quite nice on the lips. It's not heavy. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, again, this is a full-size product. Um, this costs £6.95 for the full size product, which isn't bad. Um, I can te I tend to spend anywhere from like £5 to £10 on lip balms, so that's pretty good for me, um, personally. Um, so yeah, this I would say, yeah, definitely look out for it. Um, obviously in my blog on the Witch's Boudoir I will give full descriptions, full like experiences with using these items, um, but I'm just giving you guys the basics. Ooh, and next we have a product that I've had before. Um, this is the, the Dr. Britannica's there's Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. Now I actually got this, um, I think, September, October last, last year from Birchbox. 
Um, this is actually a deluxe mini, but I will say the one that I got from Birchbox is still going, still going really strong. I love it to pieces. I use it like twice a week because um, I have an evening routine, a morning routine and like a midday routine, what I consider the bath time routine. Um, so yeah, this is one of those products that I use on occasion. I don't use it every night because it doesn't actually benefit if you use it every night. Um, but I will say this works really, really well. As I said, this is a deluxe mini and the deluxe mini costs 14 pounds, but the full size, which is 50 milliliters, costs 19 pounds. So all in all, it's actually more beneficial to buy the full size. Um, so yeah, I definitely would recommend this. Um, definitely gonna be keeping hold of this because I do adore this and I love having a spare to hand. Um, so yeah. Um, obviously I'm not going to try, try this one out, um, I'll be reusing the one that I've got, um, uh, because it is exactly the same, and I'll be putting this to one side, um, so I will be writing that up in the description. Next is a Nivea product, um, this is the Micella Air Skin Breathe Professional Makeup Remover, 0% product re residual, well, waterproof, removes waterproof mascara and cares for sensitive eye area. No rubbing, no perfume. So, as you guys know, last last week I was struggling with conjunctivitis. So I was avoiding anything related to eyes or basically being very, very careful when it came to makeup. Because, I gotta, I gotta be honest, last week was a nightmare for me with con conjunctivitis. Um, so anything where it was like makeup related, I was literally putting makeup on for the blog and washing it off straight after. Normally that is not like me, I will put my makeup on and it stays on for hours afterwards. Um, and I will say, I do have particular products that I use um, for make makeup removal, which is my um, chamomile or, um, makeup remover butter, which is from Body Shop. I also have like makeup remover wipes and I also have, have a micellar water, which is from Garnier. Now there's a micellar water works really well, especially when you still have like traces of makeup underneath your eye. Now with me, my coal tends to last forever. It never comes off. It literally just stays there. Um, but yeah, I'm always interested to try other products. This I'm probably gonna put to one side and probably won't get used um, fully until I actually need it. Um, Cause like I said, I do have a lot of makeup remover and products. So yeah. Um, I am interested by this one because this one is a cares for eyelashes and my eyelashes, as you can tell, are quite defined. Um, they don't really need that much of definement. It's why I don't wear false eyelashes. It's why I don't fill my eyebrows in because my hair is very, very thick and very, very like clumpy. Uh, if that's even a word for hair, it just kind of grows and kind of keeps growing and gets in the way. Um, so yeah, it's very thick, it's very full. Um, yeah, there's not a lot I can really do with it. Um, so I'm interested in seeing how this actually cares for my eyelashes because my eyelashes are, again, very full, they're very thick, they're very heavy. Um, you know, they do like curl quite naturally. Like I do that, you, you can see them on camera actually curl. So yeah, they're pretty much there. Um, so again, I'll be interested in trying that. Um, that is actually a full size product and costs £3.99, which is actually cheaper than the um, chamomile makeup removing butter that I have. Um, but also, it's actually more expensive than the Garnier makeup remover that I use um, and the makeup wipes because I go for the Superdrug own brand makeup wipes, which are I think about like £1 something. I think they're £1.79 or something like that. So yeah, I will check. I will let you know in my blog. And the last product is, is the Mexican Handy Flower Power Love and Hand and Cleansing Gel. So basically this is a hand bacterial gel. So yeah, this is a little extra treat. This is a full size product. It costs three pounds. And I will say I haven't had a actual antibacterial. I will retrieve that. As I was saying before I drop this out, out of my hand, um, I haven't had a actual um, antibacterial hand gel for a little while. Um, I've been trying to find one that actually doesn't affect my um, eczema too bad because I'm now 
you know, although it's not as bad as it was, I'm trying to get it under control. Um, I will say that these are always great in handbags, especially if you're in and out of places that aren't exactly the cleanest places in the world. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting that in my handbag for the necessary need. Um, so yeah. I'm actually impressed that that's come in this box because considering it's all very floral, yeah, that's actually quite a nice extra. Um, overall, my impressions of this box, okay, there is no makeup in this box, which is a little bit of a downer for me. However, the Dr. Pawpaw, you could consider a lip, uh, a lip balm, like, that you could wear with a natural glowing makeup look. Um, so you kind of do have makeup, but you don't have makeup. Um, so overall, I'm not, like, 100% loving the box. However, I am loving the box because there's some really nice products in here. Um, I love the theme. I think it's very bright and very colourful. Like, even the little, pa uh, little like, list here that tells you all the things, it's all very bright, very springtime, very tropical based. And I will say it's very tropical based. Um, I do really, really like this, these products. Um, I'm really impressed by how many full size products there are. Um, I will put in the blog how much each product is and the overall price of this box. Um, and also I will say that I'm going to be keeping it with a glossy box. Um, as you guys know, Birchbox this month was a complete pile of pants um, for me. It wasn't the best box that I've ever received in my, in the entire time of doing makeup vlog, uh, doing the witch's boudoir, doing, you know, makeup subscriptions and things like that. Birchbox has really, for me, gone off par. I've fallen out of love with it. I just, I think their selling point is great. If you wanna try products that are, you know, you wouldn't generally come across, Birchbox is the best way to go because you get small samples and then you can decide if you want to buy them. However, when you're getting the same products and you're getting the only makeup product you're getting is a highlighter in virtually every box, then you end up questioning their actual ethics because there are only so many highlighters you can use in an actual look. And that's one, generally. Um, and as you you may know, when I first started my blog, I did not like using highlighters purely because at the time my skin didn't need that kind of glow. Over the time I've been doing different things with my, my makeup, I've been using different products, so I've been using highlighters to combat different ways of working. Um, so yeah, that's just me. That's just how I am. I change how I work to suit what I'm using. Um, so yeah, with Birchbox, they've really gone off par with me. Um, with Glossybox, I'm still loving their products. You know, this box is just like, wow. I'm, I'm sat looking at the products and I'm like, yeah, I wanna try them all now. Really, really want to try them all properly now. Um, I just think, you know, with Glossybox, for value for money, I mean, value for money is definitely there with Glossybox. You pay 13 pounds, and that's including postage and, and packaging. Um, I think it's a little less than £13, to be honest. Um, and for the same price with Birchbox, you know, Birchbox give you little samples. Glossy Box, they give you deluxe minis, which are actually beneficial and last you several months. And they also give you full-size products. So, yeah, with Glossy Box, that's their ethos. They have a better way of working, whereas Birchbox don't. They just give you these little samples that you can use once or twice and then you have to like either buy the product or wait for the next box so that's kind of like for me not beneficial so yeah for me birch box i'm not sticking with i'm probably going to go back to look fantastic which was a box i tried last month in march um and i really enjoyed them I really enjoyed the product. I really enjoyed the design of the box. I love the fact that it comes with a magazine. Um, also, I will say the Look Fantastic and Glossy Box are linked together. So the credits that you get for the Glossy Box when you review their products 
also can be used on Look Fantastic's website as well, which I think is brilliant because you can also do exactly the same thing on Look Fantastic and link the two together, which is great. Love it. So yeah. Now, as I was saying about the products for Glossy Box, um, do love them, not a problem. Love this box. Um, the one pro product that I have tried since my conjunctivitis has got, gone, got off my face and everything um, from Birchbox was the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. And I will say that this is actually a product that I did actually get on well with. Um, however, it's not a product I would buy because it's just not beneficial enough. Um, personally, I still don't like Balance Me products. Um, yes, this worked okay, but I did find that, you know, I was using more product than I'd like to, to actually do the under eye and round the eye, because it's an eye moisturiser. Um, personally, it's okay, but it's not a product I would go out and buy. Um, so it doesn't give, get the whole, like, 100% love it. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, it's okay, it's not one I would buy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my next blog is on Tuesday, um, which will be another makeup design and it will be another moon graph. Um, so yeah, I shall see you all on Tuesday.